Okay, the first gentleman I want to talk about is Mr. Schick. A two-time standout at end in his junior and senior year. In 1948, against Curtis, he intercepted a deflected pass and ran it 45 yards for the first TV TD in a 12-7 victory. This was the first ever win over the Warriors. 1948, ladies and gentlemen, the year I was born. 60 years ago. How the hell is this guy here? <laughs> He was also selected to the New York Post All-Borough team and received a football scholarship to Wagner College when the tuition was a nickel. <laughs> Mr. John Sheck, please, let's be a ladies and gentlemen. Watch the screen, watch the screen. just born, and I have more hair than him. <laughs> anyway, I, I haven't seen Ed Mills here. Is Ed here? Where is he? To the left. Oh, sign him up. Uh, I'd like to thank Ed for being on the, in whatever it is, board of directors or the nominating committee, because he remembers us because he played with us. And it was 60 years ago that we played football for New Dorp High School. And I would venture to say that there's almost the whole student body that existed at New Dorp High School in 1948. Because I think it was like seven, 800 students and most of them were girls. What a, you know, what an opportunity. I'd also uh, like to thank my fiance for accompanying me today. We live in Michigan, so it's no small deal to get here, especially when the weather is as bad as it is. Karen Jackson, who is presently attending the University of Michigan. So here I am, I'm 76, and I'm dating a college girl. <laughs> think about it. And my brother is here. He's the one with no hair sitting over there, Phil. He played uh, for New Dorp High School uh, for uh, Frank Cassidy. And then there's my, my good friend, my patron, Bobby Joyce, the owner of Joyce's Tavern, who has my picture in the men's room <laughs> over the urinal. <laughs> what a guy. And I'd like, I'd like to recognize, too, uh, my other teammates that are here, Mike DeCenza, Paul Perfetti, Frank Walters, and Eddie Millsers out at the uh, main table. And Eddie told me to keep this, whatever I said, to three minutes. So uh, anyway, 60 years, I'm happy to be here, but I'm happy to be anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I would say. There were probably a lot of good teams that preceded us, the 48 team, but they didn't have the coach we had. We had Sal Soma, who I believe turned the whole football program around at New Dorp High School. And the, before I played uh, at New Dorp, I played in the Highland AC and the local 
football leagues and things like that, which was out of Rosebank, Fort Wadsworth section. But in 1948, Sal Soma came to Newdorp. He brought with him a guy named Skip Schipani, who I don't believe anybody thinks about much, but he was a big help to us. And he also brought Tex Dawson. Tex Dawson was the first trainer, I believe, Newdorp ever had. Growing up as a kid on Staten Island, and believe me, it was a great experience, and I'm, I'll never forget it, but we didn't have television, so we had to do something. We played football, we played basketball, we played hockey, whatever. And nowadays, everything's different. Everything's instant replay. Guys are wearing face masks, or face guards, or whatever they call them. We didn't have that. We didn't have a face guard. We played offense, we played defense. 60 minutes, we had a few guys that were substitutes, but believe it or not, we had a great team. There were a great bunch of guys. Some of them are here today. And <coughs> the New York Curtis game was the highlight in Staten Island of Thanksgiving every year. And it was the year I went to the game and New York always lost. So believe me, it was quite a thrill to be here again to relive those moments and see the pictures on the screen and everything. I'd like to have a copy of that for my kids. But uh, we beat Curtis in 48. We had a pretty good season. And the next year, 49, we were undefeated. We beat Curtis again. And we won the New York City PSAL football championship and that was a big thrill. It was a thrill playing with the, these guys. It was a thrill being part of Newdorp High School. And how long has this thing been going on? This Hall of Fame. Oh. <laughs> I just heard about it. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, uh, anyway, how many times have they won the championship since? Oh, oh. Many. We would have to hide. Well, see, we were just the first, but hey, thanks a lot. I didn't want to run over time, but I appreciate being here. Yeah, here's your plan. Joe? Where's Joe Avina? Joe? You want to take a picture with you? Yeah. Joe? Yeah.